I'm very excited that you're here today because today we are talking about a very important subject, the toilet. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin, if you have not been here before. I make videos here on YouTube about my life here in Florida, making our house a home, and trying to get into better environmental habits, trying out zero waste products, eco-friendly products, things like that. So if those are videos you are interested in, definitely consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. The subject of today's video is the tushy! If you don't know what this is, this is a bidet. And if you don't know what a bidet is because you live in the United States like me and you have uh, never used one of these in your life, it is something that you hook up to your toilet. Well, this kind of bidet is. And it basically uh, sprays your booty hole um, after you go <laughs> number two. Honestly, go onto this website um, you will appreciate the puns as much as I did, I, I hope. I have not opened this yet. I was waiting for you guys to come over and open it with me because I thought it would be so much fun if we could enjoy in the toilet talk together. Now, just so you're aware before you jump into this video, I did get the Tushy Spa. They have two different kinds, the Tushy Classic, I believe, and the Tushy Spa. The only difference is the spa is supposed to come with a uh, hot or cold option. The classic only has the one temperature option, which I guess is just whatever your tap water comes out as. I got the Tushy Spa because I know what I deserve, but uh, I did not read the uh, little description well enough on the website. I just went and looked and apparently you have to have the toilet pretty close to the sink because that has to hook up to the warm water that's by the sink or under the sink. And in our master bathroom, as you will momentarily see, it, they are across the room from each other. So that's not gonna work. I'm hoping if we're into it, we'll just put this one in the guest bathroom and then we'll just get a classic for our toilet. I was not sent this. I, uh, as of right now filming this, I haven't even started my YouTube channel. So um, <clears throat> bought this with my own money. Reason why we got it is because uh, we wanna cut down on cost with buying toilet paper. Um, we're trying to get rid of uh, or reduce our paper waste. So, you know, less toilet paper. We're not ready to go all gung-ho into the no toilet paper thing yet. I know uh, on Tushy they sell a little bum towel, which is literally just a hand towel, but they have bamboo towels, which is really cool. Where you just pat pat after you do your thing uh, and washy washy. But I am not completely on board with that yet. So still gonna use the toilet paper. Uh, they were having some deal where they sent us like free bamboo toilet paper with our order, or it was an option to get that and it was $0. So of course I tacked that onto my cart, but that is not here yet. Bamboo is a much more sustainable product than what most toilet paper is made out of. So Definitely excited to try out the bamboo toilet paper and maybe get some bamboo towels the next time we're looking to buy towels. I also got the Tushy Travel, which is a little spray bottle. I mostly got that because I thought it would be convenient for when I'm out and about and I have to rinse out my menstrual cup. If you don't know what a menstrual cup is, it's for your period and you know, it doesn't go in the trash and you gotta wash it off. And if you have ever used one of those, sometimes when you're traveling and you're in a public stall, you. Anyways, we just have the Tushy Spa and I'm going to be installing it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch me try it out, but I will talk about my experience as a new bum hole washing uh, person, okay? Like I said, I am from the US. I have not used one of these before. I've never used a bidet. Uh, my dad does have these at his house. Those ended up on the toilet sometime when my brother and I were in college and we came home one day. I didn't even know what it was. I pushed the button and pew pew, water started flying. So I said, no, no, um, not about that life. But uh, in my recent adult years, now that I have a house of my own and uh, just doing the research and uh, seeing the marketing for this, you know, I'm a sucker for good marketing and the website just mm, clenched the deal. Trust me, if you like puns, you will appreciate this website and buy from them immediately. So what problems is this solving? We first looked into getting a bidet uh, when the whole toilet paper shortage was happening in the United States. 
we thought, hey, let's get a bidet and then we don't even need to use toilet paper. And my dad has been telling me for years now to get a bidet, we're gonna save money, uh, not buying toilet paper, and he said it's just the best thing that he's ever done. He didn't say that, but I can see it in his eyes. Also, when I sat down to really think about it, it really is just so much more hygienic. There are so many other countries in the world. Most other places are using bidets and think it's crazy that we don't. I'm all about jumping on the bidet bandwagon, okay? I'm here, I'm for it, I'm ready. Once I went on the website and saw how much they cost, they were really only like a hundred bucks. The Tushy Spa was like 10 bucks more, so definitely went with the spa. And uh, to me, a hundred bucks seemed like a good investment for something that uh, should hopefully reduce waste and help save us money over time. So I'm on the website, cause I just wanna read you guys what it offers, what it says, the product features are. Pressure angle control for targeted spray on your pooper. <clears throat> I'm just reading from the website. Includes everything for an easy install under 10 minutes. We'll see. Requires no electricity or plumbing. I mean, it's it's gotta attach to the plumbing, right? Self-cleaning nozzle, 60 day risk-free guarantee, over 2,500 five-star reviews, good for you. A good stand-in for your significant other. Does that mean what I think it means? And another fun thing is that it comes with lots of different style options for the knobs, which may not get you excited, but when I'm shopping for a toilet accessory, I'm glad I have the option. So let's go ahead and look inside the box. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside. Looks like there isn't any plastic in here, which I love that. So this is everything that comes in the box. Okay, so here it is. Like I said, we got the bamboo knobs. Looks pretty snazzy to me. I don't think our toilet is this white. This is like white. As you can see, since I have the Tushy Spa, this has the pressure control. It just says nozzle wash, pressure off, bum wash. <laughs> and then the temperature control is the bottom one. It says cool, temperature warm. I don't know what this does yet, but we're learning. It also comes with whatever this is. This doodad comes with tape for something. This just looks like a bunch of doohickeys. We will see when we try and install this. Um, <clears throat> All right, so it is actually the next day. I set the tushy up. I installed it on the toilet all by myself. I only got sprayed in the face like once. So basically when I was setting it up, it kept saying don't over tighten it, but I wasn't even tightening it enough. So uh, it, it, when I first hooked it up and turned it on, it just sprayed all over me. But that was really the only mishap. I just stuck a bowl underneath there to catch anything. Didn't really help when it was spraying into my face, but that's okay. I would say the setup uh, from beginning to end probably only took me about 15 minutes. And the only tools you really need are like a wrench and maybe like a flathead screwdriver. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, do be aware that if you want the Tushy Spa, if you want warm water hookup, you need to be really close to the sink because that has to go under the sink. So we just did the cold water hookup because our toilet is not next to the sink. It is across the room, but it still worked fine. The cold water didn't feel too cold. It just felt like tap water. If it's really cold where you live, that and that might be an issue for you, that's something you're going to have to assess. But I live in Florida and it's always hot here, so wasn't too bad. I like that you can adjust the nozzle. You can get it just right. <laughs> 
But yeah, it worked great. I've never used a bidet before and it was easy enough to use. You literally just turn the knob. Uh, you really only have to turn it a little bit. I can't even really imagine what the highest pressure feels like. I don't know why you would want to do that to yourself. The pressure can get really, really high. You know, I only had to twist it just a little bit and you know, it, it did what it needed to do. You know, then you little pat pat with a toilet paper. I did end up using, I felt like a bunch of toilet paper because it kind of wets all of you. I see why they're selling little tushy towels or you know how it would be nice just to have a little towel to pat yourself dry um, because yeah there's a lot of water going on and I'm not about to just like put my pants on soaking wet. So it felt like I used a good amount of toilet paper to get myself dry after using it. But in terms of the amount of toilet paper used after you know actually going number two I would say you can get away with using less but that's just really depends on you in your poos. All in all, I'm really happy we finally made the switch for something that I could set up all by myself. Um, it's gonna be more hygienic than using toilet paper. It is gonna save money in the long run, I'm hoping. I'm really happy with the purchase. And I was just reading on their website that a portion of Tushy Sales actually goes towards building public toilets in India, which I think is awesome. That is about it for this video. I will leave a link in the description box of this video if you wanna go purchase your own tushies. And let me know in the comments below, do you use a bidet at home? Do you uh, have a favorite toilet accessory? Please let me know all of your toilet thoughts down in the description. I would love to hear your bidet experiences or your tushy experiences. Please let me know. I'm so interested in some more toilet talk, okay? All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.